Hello again, I am Mark. I'm Grant. And this is Herdsman Foods. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back at Taco Bell. Man, what are we for? I, I, man, we j I feel like we've been at Taco Bell forever. I don't remember anything else we've reviewed. <laughs> what, was there something? I don't know. I, was this, there Herdsman before Taco Bell? This is the Taco Bell channel. These are um, the questions we have to ask ourselves. <laughs> I am uh, terribly excited to be back, but I wanted to tell you guys, update you guys on something mm -hmm. on the channel a little bit. Well, you're, you can go ahead and try that if you like. Um, we are really excited because we we have never gone viral. And uh, we had a short the other day go 5,000 views, which for us, that is huge. That That is like almost viral. So um, if you happen to share or, or anything you can do to uh, like or subscribe or whatever you do, uh, we'd, we'd love you to do that uh, to help us along. Our subscriber numbers are growing and we, we love that, but we love the fact that you guys are here just ex sharing this experience with us. So we're yeah, back. We've at, always appreciated them. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're back at Taco Bell. Um, you took your first bite. I'm looking at this. This is the Double Decker Taco. This is a... It looks like it's a tortilla. Like tortilla, uh, tortilla chip, uh, taco shell, obviously. Uh, ground up meat, some lettuce, and some uh, queso cheese. Well, I don't know if it's queso cheese, maybe. Um, but it's it's basically just a a regular taco, crispy taco, inside of a uh, tortilla that has beans in it. I think I think mm -hmm. it's just beans. Yeah, I was wondering what that other flavor was. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, uh, first bite, what do you get? I'm going to go. It is good. I think the first thing I got was the first thing I got was the beans and I really liked them. Then it was the the consistency of the t of the tortilla shell, well, not tortilla, the chip part of the shell, the crunchy mm -hmm. part, which man, that is refreshing. Um and I got to say, even on my first bite, it tastes well balanced. I, I not one thing that's really um really overdoing it it's it comes in like waves yeah I, I agree i really like this taco um here's what i really like about the taco and what i really don't like about the taco number one i feel like this is how tacos should have always been done because i remember as a kid eating tacos and loving the flavor hating the delivery mechanism because mm -hmm. they would crunch and fall apart you, you've solved the entire problem. Whoever the engineer at Taco Bell is that did this should get the Pulitzer Prize. Um, this is a mate. Pulitzer Prize? No, that's for writing. I don't know. Nobel Prize. No, Pulitzer Prize. Yeah, for writing about it. Oh, no. yes, the Nobel. That's <laughs> so much better. Well, the Nobel Prize for, for this. This is engineering at yes. its finest. It yeah. really is. The thing created by the guy who created dynamite. Yes, that makes total sense for a food product probably probably made in the 50s that is a totally different episode we'd have to go on to explain that and that's but... another story <laughs> so um i'm gonna agree with you on my first bite second bite what'd you get uh really more of the same um just a really well-balanced bean burrito um with a great crunch uh maybe a little bit more of the lettuce this time around it felt like it was a little bit uh, more watery down the middle but you're getting not bean a... burrito though and not meat taco yeah, not so much the second time. I'm okay. getting more of the... Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and I guess you get more of the bean burrito flavor up here than you do down there. I mean, it's just, for me, it's it's a simple classic done well. Yeah. Totally agree. I, it's, a, it's a good taco. My issue with it is this. It was over three dollars a piece for these. Yeah, you, you can't really sell. You can't sell something over three dollars really, unless it's new, done in a new way or a new presentation. It's just, this I is, mean, for what you're is, giving us for three dollars. Well, I think the quality is not the issue. It's just so much as we've seen it before. So we're er, <clears throat> we're walking in with the assumption of okay, this is good. It's not three dollars good, but I'm looking what at it is. I'm looking at like cost of goods of this. Mm. You know, this this is a cheap thing to put together because your your ground beef in here, yeah, there's ground beef. It, there's not a lot of ground beef. There's lettuce. There's um, some cheese. There's the taco shells. That's it. You know, mm. there's not a lot to this for three dollars. So, you know, price oh, wise, good. It's good. And price wise, I am um, I'm not you know totally happy with that. But you're right. I think that you said it well in saying that 
this is just an old classic that they've they've done very well. Yeah, I mean, I, it's it's good. To me, it's good. So give it a try. Uh, it might not be $3 where you are. Uh, it might be $7 where you are. It might be $1.50 where you are. Who, do, who knows? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you paid for it compared to what we paid for it. I want to say it was $3.19 before tax for each of these. So, you know, let us know in the comments below what uh, what, what you uh, paid for yours. And Anyway. Anywho. Thank you for joining us. That is all from us today from Herdswind Foods. And always remember, never forget, don't be afraid to join, to join the, the herd. herd.